good morrow, my besties, or good noon, good evening, good whenever you're watching this. Oh, here comes Giant with our coffees. Howdy, thank you. Yay. Giant and I are going to a romance only bookstore in Chicago. Chicago, Chicago. So you're coming too, of course. Let's have our first coffee sip. Phenomenal. Just amazing. I'm alive. I'm living. I'm thriving. This bookstore is called, I don't know if I told you what it's called. It's called the Last Chapter Bookstore. And I'm pretty sure it's the first romance bookstore in Chicago. I could be wrong about that though. So don't quote me on it. Don't write it down, as my mom likes to say. Kind of like the rip. It's kind it's kind it's kind of like the ripped bodice in California in New York, but I don't know how their selection is going to be. I don't know what it's going to look like or any of that because it's brand new, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see. Hopefully they have enough things to where I can buy books, but not enough selections to where I buy too much. You know what I mean? I don't want to walk out of there with 30 books, but I have no choice if they have all the books I want, you know? We're going to have to hope for the best, but expect the worst. I'm going to try to film everything in there. However, I don't know how big it is. I'm kind of scared I'm going to go and I'm going to like be in a very small space just with my camera <laughs> but you know what fuck it i'm not scared to film in front of people live your best life nobody cares you know okay see you when we get there we have like an hour drive <laughs> hey we made it we're walking because there was no parking so we had to parallel park which i hate thank god giant did it because i don't know how to parallel park fun fact about me it freaks me out and then i just can't do it we're walking here I don't know where it is, but we're gonna find it as a team. Here we go. I think we make a left up there at that light. I just feel it in my bones. The romance books are calling me. Yo, I made it to the last chapter bookstore. It's so cute. Oh wait, bookshop. Look how cute. Oh, I love it. I love this one because she's Brazilian. I love Mia Sosa. I've never read this one. I've never read this either, but I like the cover. Maybe I'll get it. I just got this one. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. And this is one of my favorites. And this is one of my favorites. And also this. I've never read this one, but it looks cute. Same with this one. Shall we go inside? Yay! Yo, look how cute all of this is. It has a bunch of stuff for you to put your, your drinks in your coffee. We know what this means. Look how cute this is. It says love. And it's just like a bunch of little names. Oh, hey, that voice. I know this is from, this is from Akatar. There's me. Hey. How cute. I'm obsessed. Be happy. Oh, I need to buy sweatshirts. I already have books in my hands. Come say hi to these beautiful shoddy bays with me. Look how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm screaming. Look at them. Oh my God. And they came They came by themselves, but then they became friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here. because of Larry. That is so cute. Larry. I'm making friendships happen. <laughs> Just know that I'm changing lives. <laughs> this is really cute. This looks really cute too. I love this one. The Twisted series. Ah! Also, this looks really cute too. Shipwrecked. The new covers for Magnolia Parks, y'all. Even though I don't love the new covers, but it's fine. There's Giant holding the books. <laughs> oh, how cute is this? It says Yeehaw and... Wait. What does it say? Currently in my Yeehaw and YOLO era. And it's pink inside. How cute. Let's go where the story takes you. How adorable. And then this side. Look at this. There's like art. Look at the Lana art. Okay, we love that. There's also Taylor over here and Taylor over here. Oh, there's Billy. Oh, I love Billy. And Blackpink. Blackpink in your area. More Lana, my favorite Lana album ever. There's One Direction. And there's Ariana. And here's me. This is so true, y'all. Hot girls read smart. What does that even mean, buckle bunny? I don't know. I do love hot dads. <laughs> Damage has been done, y'all. I purchased many things. I purchased this guy in there. They were giving out book boyfriends. <laughs> if you bought a certain amount of books, they were giving out a man. And this was mine. Why aren't you laughing? <laughs> I met so many shoddy bays. I love you guys so much. Every single person that came to say hello, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Literally made me so happy. And I got to talk to so many of you. And I love you. That's me with you. Me and you, we're like this. We're like this, we're best friends. We are best friends. If you ever see me out and about, please feel free to say hi because I love to talk to you. Oh my God, love, there's a lost dog. Oh no. 
That just ruined my day. We're walking, we're walking, we're gonna eat, and I'll give you a haul. I hope I filmed enough in there, y'all. I don't know if I did. I tried really hard, but, um, oh, I almost got rid of my car. That would be great for the video. <laughs> Giant didn't let it happen, though. Anyway, oh my God, let me show you this bracelet. Oh my God, let me show you. Let me show you what a beautiful shoddy bay made me. Look at this. It says little mouse. Oh my God. And then lift your hips up for me, love. Ah! <laughs> anyway. Um, I don't know if I filmed enough. I hope I did. I hope I filmed a lot And I hope this is a uh, enough for a video. I'm not sure. We're just gonna have to see We're just gonna have to see and hope for the best. Larry and Giant Walking around Chai Town Anyway, this is the last chapter bookstore in Chicago Please go if you are ever here because there's a local bookstore. The owner's amazing and it is so fucking cute in there Book haul time! Mm, mm, mm. Love, give me back our music <laughs> I am clearly home, so here are all the books that I purchased today. No regrets whatsoever. First up, I got this. What is this, you may ask? I don't know. I don't know. I saw it and it intrigued me. It's a series, and it says it's the complete series. So this is the entire thing, which I love. It says the pack prophecy. <laughs> there are wolves on the cover. I just noticed that they spelled from wrong. Like it says, look at this. I was taught form a young age. We're gonna disregard it because I already I already purchased it. Anyway, I was taught from a young age that I was to submit and never ask questions. That's what happens when you're the only human in a wolf pack. Yet when the time comes that I am gifted powers from our goddess, it's clear that I truly know nothing about who I am. A dark prophecy shows us that a war is coming and that will wipe out all the wolves in the world. A prophecy my mates and I find ourselves at the center of. But what happens when there's a wolf in sheep's clothing in the mist? Ah, that looks so good. I've never read um, like any wolf romance. <laughs> Here's my question, right? Do they turn into humans? Because if it's a romance and they're just wolves, I don't want to read that. But if they turn into humans, it's like Twilight vibes, which is fine. I don't know. We'll see. I'm very excited. If you have read this and you like it, let me know. I need some words of encouragement, but it is very cute. So regardless, I'm happy I own it. And I did go a little bit crazy on the Rena Kent because I'm aiming to have all of Rena Kent's backlist, but in the like nice covers, special editions, you know? So I got the ones that I didn't have. I got Cruel King because I've already read this and therefore I needed it. Then I got um, Aiden's book, which is Steel Princess. Aiden has two other books. I have Deviant King. I don't have the third one of his, but I have this one which is great. I purchased the third as we speak because I refuse to not have his complete trilogy. And then I got Vicious Prince, which is, whose book is this? I think it's Ronin. Yeah, it's Ronin's book. Very nice. And then I got this duet, which is Reign of a King and Rise of a Queen. I don't know whose books these are, if I'm being honest. Jonathan, Jonathan King. Oh, fun. <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys know I love Rena Kent. Therefore, None of these purchases were bad purchases. Like every single one is so justified. I regret not a single thing about these. Rena Kent's my new favorite author, therefore I'm going to collect her entire backlist. So these were gonna happen regardless, you know? Then I got this book because I've seen it before and it looked really cute. It's called The Devil You Know. Tatum Danvers has plans and goals for everything in her life. Whatever she sets out to do, she achieves. There's only one thing she's determined to check off and it's her V card. Um, <laughs> Being a virgin isn't the biggest part of my problem. What I need to prepare for my full college experience is someone to teach me what to do in bed. I have the perfect tutor in mind, my brother's best friend. Ah! So it's brother's best friend. It's clearly good girl, bad boy kind of vibe. I don't know, it looks so cute. It has a playlist too, which I love. It has Harry Styles in it. Immediately, yes. I don't see any Taylor Swift. But there's Chase Atlantic also, so that's great. I don't know, it looks good. It kind of gave me off-campus vibes, and you know I love off-campus, so there you go. Then I got um, Head Above Water by C.E. Ritchie. So I read um, Iced Out by this author, and I loved it. So I got another one that I found. It looks kind of sad now that I'm looking at it. Grief, he's unattainable. He's engaged. Wait, what? How am I supposed to keep my head above water when I'll eventually lose him? Oh my God, this looks really sad. Oh my God, this looks so sad. Oh no. But you know what? I'm excited. I also want to read all of these authors, all of this author's books because I really loved Iced Out. So I want to go through her backlist as well. So 
this was inevitable. Then I bought some sweatshirts. Look how cute this is. Love that. I only bought those books because since the store just opened, there was a lot of stuff that they didn't have, obviously, because it's brand new. There was quite a lot of people there, so I only got those books, but it's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I still got eight books, and then I got some merch as well. <laughs> Look at this shirt. It says, hot girls read books. Ah, so true. Facts were spoken. And then I also got this sweatshirt because it says, books are my love language. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. I loved this store so much. I need to go back there a million times, like a million times. Anyway, and then the owner. Oh my God, this is the, my favorite part. So they knew I was going there. And so they made me a little goodie bag. Ah! <laughs> I'm, so cute. I'm so excited. It said, good girls, read books. Which is so true. If you want to be a good girl, read a book. And there's stuff inside. Like, look at this. Sips and Sins. It says, A Romance Lover's Guide to Cocktails. So, like, it's basically different cocktails for different tropes. Oh, my God. Like, Billionaire Romance has one. Rom-com has one. White Shoes. <gasps> this is so fucking cool. Look at this. Billionaire. Different cocktails for billionaires. Different cocktails for... What is that? Sports romance. Oh, that is so cool. I don't drink all that much, but when I'm in the mood, I will I will do this. It depends on the occasion. I have to like really be in the mood. So I will wait. Maybe when I'm in Vegas or something, I'll bring this. <laughs> I bring this in my suitcase. <laughs> Please picture me at a bar, ready? In Vegas. I'm like, <clears throat> I'm really in the mood for some rom-com today. So can I please have the pillow talk? And then he's like, what the fuck is the pillow talk? And I'm like, it's one ounce square, square one, botanical spirit it has one ounce lavender honey syrup one ounce heavy cream one one large egg white y you lost me you lost me and then garnish it with lavender boss blossoms please it's supposed to look like this can i have that <laughs> oh my god there's a little tote in here too even though i already got a tote there's a leather tote is this the last chapter bookshop oh i love it oh i love it then this is what is this Hold on. Oh, it's a little tumbler. Oh my God, that's beautiful. The last chapter. Can you guys see that? It says the last chapter bookshop. Go where the story takes you. That is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. This is why I love it when women do things. They do things so amazingly. I just love them. Look at that. There's even a little candle for me. Is this a candle? I hope it's a candle. Can I smell it? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Then there's like little bookmarks in here. Oh my God. Enemies to Lovers Club. Adorable. Hot Girls Read Smut. Yes. I saw this one at the store. I'm so happy that it's here. This one says just one more chapter. I love this. You had me at trigger warnings. Oh my God. Tell me that's not my mom. Tell me that's not Eureka. I need to give her this one and I'll have this one. Even though she only reads on Kindle, but it's fine. <gasps> and stickers! Yay! Little stickers! Oh, this is so exciting! And then this bag, which I love. And look, this tote, y'all, it literally has a little clip, which is amazing for a tote. Oh, amazing. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Last Chapter Bookshop. I love you guys. Thank you. I love your store. It was all so cute. It was all so well done. I love that you did this shit all by yourselves. That's insane. I love it when women, I love it. I'll always be here to support in any way I can. This made me so happy. I love this trip. I love everybody I met. Thank you so much if you came to say hi. If you were ever scared to say hi to me, if you see me in public, please don't be. Please don't be. I promise. I promise. I can't wait to say hi to you. It'll make me so happy. No matter what I'm doing. No matter what. I could be sleeping. I could be sleeping and you wake me up. You wake me up. <laughs> I could be eating. I could be mid bite. You pause me. You pause me, I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> I love you guys so much, thank you for coming with me. Let me know if you enjoy the vlogs. I feel like you guys do, you guys told me you did in the last video, but I'm very self-conscious. Self yeah, self-conscious of you guys with the vlogs. I don't know if you guys wanna see them, or if you guys are just like, Larry, please shut the fuck up, we don't wanna see vlogs. I don't know, let me know. I love you so much, have such a good day, or night, evening, whenever you're watching this. Shall I give you a forehead kiss? Yes. <laughs>